10 CrossFit workouts done with awkward pieces of gear. What's up, beast? Let's get straight into the video. These are 10 workouts you can do with those odd items of gear lying around your gym. Just for you guys as well, we are offering a strength program requiring no gear. It is programmed by Evan Morris himself. So if you are interested in that, click the link in the description. We can get you guys strong in this odd time. Workout number one, it requires just an assault bike and it is called death race. Very simple, comp trains, death race, 15 cows for men, 10 cows for ladies on the assault bike, 10 burpees, five rounds as fast as you can go. This is one of those ones where there's no tactics, no pace, no slowing down. Set yourself that goal to sprint the assault bike every time you get on, we're looking to go fast. My best time for this workout ever is 6.09. If you wanna watch someone even fitter doing it, Cole Sager does it in under five minutes, it's insane. This one's gonna get that lactic acid flowing. Workout two is by weighted vest workouts and it is called Bulletproof. Very simple, it is for time. We have a 400 meter run with a vest, then 40 burpees and then back out for a 400 meter run to finish. With a weighted vest, obviously men looking for 20 pounds or uh, 10 kilos, ladies looking for 14 pounds or six kilos. If you don't have the exact weight, it's fine. As long as you own a vest, this one can be done. Of course, running with a vest makes everything a little bit harder. Burpees, I find it easier with a vest because you're like two inches further off the ground. Um, however, just she having the weight on your body will definitely get tough after a while. Like the first workout, this one is a full send as well. So just go hard, no pace, get out the door and go. Workout three, if you only own a rowing machine, this one is for you. This is called the Grim Rower. It is a death by workout, the way death by workouts work. Every minute you increase one repetition on a specific movement. In this case, it's gonna be burpees. So you, you in total have two kilometers to row for a male, 1.6 kilometers to row for a female. Every single minute, including three, two, one, go, you must get off your rower and perform one burpee. Each minute that goes by, that burpee becomes two. The next one, it becomes three. Then it becomes four. It keeps accumulating burpees until either you complete the row or you die by burpees. So let's say you're 10 minutes in, that means you have to do 10 burpees. This one is one of those ones where you just have to pick up that row and pull as hard as you can and try and maintain that pace for as long as possible. My best time for this workout is 12.44. See if you can get it done faster. I am a horrible rower. Hopefully you guys are better. Workout four is a sandbag only workout. This is one of my favorite events at a sanctioned event and it is from the Down Under CrossFit Championship. It is called Event Six. Very basic, four time. 30 sandbag cleans over the shoulder, and then a 15 meter handstand walk to finish. Of course, if we don't have the distance or space for a handstand walk, we can either do one of two things. We can choose to do uh, shoulder taps on the spot, and I would suggest about 20 reps in total, or if we can't do shoulder taps, we can just do something like a pike push up, 20 reps as fast as possible. Doesn't matter what weight sandbag you have, just get it over the shoulder, 30 reps as fast as you can, no matter what weight is going to suck, but the standard weight for men, 68 kilos or 150 pounds. For ladies, 45 kilos or 100 pounds. Workout five only requires either a med ball or a slam ball. Both will work just fine. It is Karen. Of course, Karen had to be on the list. One of the worst CrossFit workouts and I can already hear everyone going, oh, Karen. But Karen, very basic, 150 war balls for time. Now, if we don't have a height high enough, I know some of us live in apartments or in the city, of course, we don't need to do war balls. What we can do is 150 med ball cleans for time. In my opinion, that would be worse, but you probably shouldn't have chose to live the city life, but at the same time, I mean, I love the city. That's gonna be a great one for do. 150 as fast as you can. Try and go unbroken if you have a lighter weight, um, but otherwise, see how long you can hold on for. Keep those sets as small as possible. 150 reps, get it done. Workout six is from Regionals 10.2 in the Northwest region. This is a very old workout. Uh, however, it is performed solely with an axle bar. You have two minutes. It's a two minute AMRAP to do as many reps as possible in that two minutes. Now there's three weight selections you choose from and they'll come up on the screen. The way this workout works, you choose the weight. So you can choose between one of these three weights and it is total pounds or kilos moved within that two minute period. So a good example is the best score for this workout, I'm gonna to have to look down, is 10,908 pounds. 
That is 36 repetitions at 303 pounds or 137 kilos. So that was the best score at that regional for that year. See how many you can do. Hold onto that bar, grip and rip. That thicker bar makes things harder to hold on to. So you're gonna have to drop a lot more often, but it's two minutes. Keep that technique as best as we can, but keep moving as fast as possible. How many reps can you do? It's like saying, how many wheat picks can you do, Jimmy? I can do nine. You're a fuckwit, Jimmy. That's a lot of fiber. You'd be shitting all day. Workout seven is all done on a C2 bike. This one is called Tour de Misfit. Now I'm gonna leave on screen the exact changes of the damper, but essentially you start at 14 Ks. Every specific distance that you've traveled, the damper changes on the bike as if to act like you are doing a tour, going uphill, going downhill, going really fast, going really high and slow. Your legs are gonna be absolutely trash from this one. However, read and make sure you write down the exact points that you change. Keep your phone on you if you need to, just have a quick look, bang, change it. If you're a few seconds late, it's not gonna change the world, but this one is a great leg burner and it's only using a C2 bike. Workout eight is Gilbert Baker. Today's workout for this one will specifically use a box. So if you own a box, you have a box, this is the one that I would suggest to use for that workout. Now it does also require a rig. However, I've alternated my rig work for a dead hang or a pinch grip hold with some plates. Of course, you can use dumbbells, kettlebells, whatever. Or if you own a rig, you're just a special person, an awesome athlete jump up to the rig and dead hang for six minutes. Now, each time you break, there is a penalty. The penalty progressively gets easier as we go into the workout, but the idea is to see how long you can hold and the minimum amount of penalties means you're the best, strongest athlete. So our first penalty, 800 meter run, 20 burpee box jumps. Our second penalty for when we break, it's a 600 meter run, 20 burpee box jumps, and then 400 burpee box jumps, and then from then onwards, it's just 200 meter run, baby box jumps. See if you can get it done within that three round market. I got it done within three, see how you go. Workout nine is a workout that we've done before on this channel, which is JT. However, this one only requires the rings and it's proper use of the rings that makes JT so difficult. 21, 15, nine, strict handstand push-ups, strict ring dips and push-ups. Your arms will be unloaded and they'll be so sore. Of course, you don't need to have rings to do this workout but it's just the most effective with rings. Workout 10 only requires a band. This is our final workout on the list. Workout 10 is prison time. 30, 20, 10, banded pull aparts, banded bicep curls, and banded tricep press. Uh, there'll be three different positions that you'll see in the video that I use for this band. Of course, you've got a rig, you can hook it up and do tricep push downs. However, I prefer to do it with the band like such. Of course, with a single arm movement, break up the reps, 15 on one arm, 15 on the other, 10 on one arm, 10 on the other, etc. But this one is just pure arm pump and just requires a band. So if you guys only have band, resistance band, or you can only get a resistance band from like Kmart or whatever, might have a good workout for you to do. So that covers 10 workouts done from home with awkward pieces of gear. I hope that adds more to your list. Now, I got a few comments on my previous couple of videos saying that can you do more lower body accessories or like hypertrophy training for your lower body? Yes, this can be used, of course, with any piece of gear. I've chosen the kettlebell just because I find the kettlebell the most versatile, but if you have a dumbbell, a barbell, this will all still work. So we're gonna do three exercises to help develop lower body muscle. Three exercises to help produce muscle in your lower body, let's go. High of the training, starting off with the way to step up. With our way to step up, obviously the sets and reps you pick will depend on exactly what you're trying to get out of this. However, what we've gone with today, three sets of eight to 12 reps on each side with the way that you can either hold it on the side or down beside you. It's meant to be awkward, that's the whole point, but I've chosen with the up the side option. Now we step up and down onto the box, eight reps on each side. This has been proven that stepping up is one of the best glute developing movements out of any movement possible, especially with weight and the way we're doing it, it activates the glutes better than pretty much any other movement, such as things like squats, uh, hip thrusts, glute bridges, etc. So. If you're looking at building some muscle in the glutes, this is probably one of the best ways. Movement number two, we're gonna focus on the quads and it is a goblet squat. So holding any piece of gear in front of us, obviously we have a barbell, front squats will be perfect. 
but we are looking at targeting the quads because that weight is in front of us. Yes, it will work our core and our upper back, but mainly the quads because when we squat down, it is more likely that we are going to track over those toes a little bit. So the quads are a little bit more activated. Once again, same kind of set to rep range. It depends on the weight you have. Obviously, the less weight you have, the more reps you do, the easier it is, the more reps you need to do. Three sets of 15 to 20 reps will be sweet for this one. If we have issues squatting, I've also got a variation that we can squat to a bench, a box, a chair, something to limit that range of motion, but to still give us the activation that we need in the quads. Because what science says is you don't need to go below parallel to activate the quads. However, going below parallel significantly increases glute and abductor development, which is good. I sound really smart right now, but that's just basic uh, exercise science that we look at when we look at the body. Final movement today will be glute hamstring raises. Find any object to put under your leg. You don't need an object, but it just makes it worse. I've chosen a med ball for this one. Under one leg, that leg comes in nice and close to your body. The other leg raises up in the air, and we're looking at pushing our hips up as high as we can. Eight to 12 reps on each leg. Three to four sets will be sold for this one. This one targets the hamstrings. That is today's video. 10 workouts done with awkward gear. Also, three accessory movements to help keep your lower body strong and to build muscle in this weird and awkward time. Look, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Hope you enjoy the content. Leave a subscribe, follow me on Instagram, all that yam and jam. And without further ado, I hope you guys stay a beast.